Doc, if someone operates in the gift of prophecy, mm -hmm. does that make that person a prophet? The gift of prophecy and the office of a prophet are two very different operations. And the gift of prophecy itself in the New Testament is not necessarily as the gift of prophecy in the Old Testament. Uh, the gift of uh, prophecy in the New Testament is more a declaration. It's a word to bring encouragement, exhortation. Uh, so most people would say preaching is prophecy because we preach to exhort people, to encourage them, to edify them. The office of a prophet is a very different one. I believe the prophet, uh, office of a prophet is a governmental office. So it's not so much about the revelation a person is bringing or the knowledge a person is giving, but how the person helps the church to know Christ better, to grow to know the Lord, to serve him, to exalt the church, equip the church, perfect the church. So really a New Testament prophet is not supposed to teach people to depend on him for the people to know the will of God. The New Testament prophet is to teach the people how to hear from God and how God can speak to them. Because the gifts are not for you to serve people uh, or, or for you to, to just minister to people, use the gift to minister to people, but to use the gift to equip the people so that they themselves can do the work of the ministry. So in a real functioning of the gift of the prophet, he must equip believers to hear from God, to understand how God speaks to them, to understand the voice of God and not always be the voice of God to the people. Uh, that, that would not be the way the New Testament prophet is supposed to function.